Hello, I'm very excited to be here. My name is Renana, I'm a choreographer and a dancer, and I want to share with you today a project that I've created called You Make Remake. Uh, you Make Remake is a performance consisting of responses to YouTube clips taking place on stage. And I want to tell you uh, a bit how it was created and the concept behind it. Um, it was created after a long period of time that I felt that I I lost interest in dance and in its form, the way I experienced it up to that point. And I decided that I will not create anything unless I will feel again this passion to create. And as I describe it, when you have a good idea or when you bump an inspiration, it's like you feel bells, uh, I hear bells, uh, hidden bells in, in my mind. Uh, so I was waiting for these bells to call me. And in that time, I was in observation mode. And uh, I've noticed that every social encounter ends with a YouTube session. In some point of the evening, someone says, hey, did you see that clip? Someone brings a laptop to the room. And then people sit and start to watch YouTube clips. And it creates some kind of a chain because someone says, yes, I know this clip, but do you know this clip? And did you see this clip? And, and this, uh, just looking, at it from the outside, I, I felt inspiration. I felt that for me, the digital culture is, in general, and YouTube in particular, is a, is a thriving engine of inspiration. I feel that YouTube is like a huge pool full with ideas and raw materials that stimulates an artistic dialogue. Um, so I wanted to do something with this. And as a choreographer, I create in a medium that uses visual images, and the fact that by one click, I can reach almost any kind of image or action I can think of, and that these images are accessible to me instantly, literally blew my mind. I think it's revolutionary. So I wanted to do something with it, and I started to think maybe I will shoot myself dancing in an elevator or in a parking lot, and I will upload it to YouTube. But then I understood that it's not really my thing. Uh, and as opposed to choreography, YouTube is a two-dimensional medium, and therefore it is clippy, immediate, and sometimes flat as a result of it. And I wanted to, to, to do the contrary. I decided to bring YouTube to my territory and to create a performance that based on the dialogue between screen and stage. And that's how You Make Remake was born. So for me, You Make Remake is first and foremost a stage performance. I expect people to leave their devices behind, to go outside, to buy a ticket, to enter a venue, to sit on a chair and to have the experience, maybe the old school experience of watching a stage performance. Another aspect which I like to emphasize is the fact that most of us are watching the content that we're interested in by ourselves with our device. And I think this performance offers a new kind of experience, a common viewing in what is usually being watched alone. And it reminds me of the early days of cinema. So every performance of You Make Remake uh, has between 10 and 12 clips. Every clip has its stage response. You always get to see the original clip, sometimes before, sometimes after, sometimes during the stage response. What is happening on stage and what you see on screen creates a new unit that didn't exist before on the web and won't exist on stage alone without, of course, the YouTube. Therefore, I can say that this performance is about the dialogue between web and stage, how they merge and continue one another. I want to show you a few examples from the show in order for you to understand how diverse the dialogue can reach. So this is the opening sequence of You Make Remake. You get to see a dancer, dances a, a contemporary dance combination, very up-to-date movement material. turns to the screen. And he 
get to see that everything that the audience just watched is basically this redhead kid dancing in his living room, improvised. Uh, and I think just putting it side by side raises bigger questions, such as what is art? And what is the difference between high art and low art? And I think the question that you make remake as a performance raises is how, how does context affect the way we experience art? And I think art, and especially dance, sometimes take itself too seriously. Um, the, next, uh, the next sequence is a, is a video of a Finnish guy teaches how to disco. It's a really funny clip. It has a kind of a surreal feeling. מה שאתה עושה, יש לה משמעות. לכן זה חשוב מאוד שתבין איך הגוף שלך מדבר, מה אתה אומר עם הגוף שלך. שים לב. יש לך רצונות. יש לך צרכים. יש לך תשוקות. ויש לך זכויות. יש לך את הזכות לדרוש את מה שאתה רוצה. אתה מתעקש. אתה לא מוותר. ואתה לא תזוז מהמקום שלך. אתה 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 לא. So as you see, we kept the outline of the original clip, but we've changed the text, and suddenly from a surreal kind of feeling to the original clip, it becomes relevant and even political um, feeling to it. Um, the next uh, sequence is we projecting on stage uh, reaction films. Uh, if you don't know, reaction films is a phenomenon that YouTube brought to our life. It's basically sh people shooting themselves, watching other content. Now think of it, before YouTube, you couldn't just open a TV and watch other people watching other content. So we project in the performance like three highlight reaction films of a film called Two Girls, One Cup. It's really disgusting film, but it's not about it. It's about the reaction films. Oh! we put a computer on stage and we tell the audience that we have the original film and we invite whoever wants to come up on stage to watch it and in the first performance we thought that maybe four or five people will come come up on stage this is what happened in the performance basically half of the audience came up on stage and half of the audience stayed to watch and I think this is a is a really interesting moment in the show because the moment where you have to choose if you want to come up on stage or you want to stay, basically it's a choice that each one of us as citizens in the new world, the new digital world, uh, has to confront 
each moment. Do we want to watch or do we want to be watched? And one last thing, um, this is a, because it's a multidisciplinary project, we also have uh, music sequences. We project Nina Simone's live performance, but we project it on mute. And on stage, Maya Dunitz and Ram Gabay sitting and dubbing it live. She asked, well, what's wrong with you? Damn it, clap. And people in the audience are clapping. This is, it captures the essence of the performance because the original request for clapping was Simone's. And she's already been dead for 15 years almost. But because Maya is doing it live on stage, people in the audience feel obliged to that request and they are clapping. And I think this is the kind of dialogue that we wanted to create between screen, stage, and audience. A movement that starts from the screen goes on stage and to the audience and vice versa. So I hope I gave you a taste of what is You Make Remake. Uh, just the last word about what is creativity for me. I think that creativity is the ability to look at things different, even the most simple things, and to find in them humor, beauty, and insight. By turning on our creative mode, I think that everything can become inspiring. And especially in our era when we're constantly flooded by visuals, we have the ability not to be just a passive viewers, but become a creators. So thank you very much.